Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Flash is not just a superhero, it's also uh, a uh, program that you likely already have installed that allows you to view content that was created in Flash. Well, what is Flash? At its core level, it's a, a rich media experience. Uh, a Flash wrapper can contain within it video, images, or, you know, it's again at its raw form high quality vector art and vector compared to raster is a lot smaller in file size and it's higher quality because it's based on mathematics instead of actual pixels um, vector art is sometimes a way to go i mean in terms of creating rich experiences without taking up a lot of space even on faster connections a, a large image can slow down the loading of a web page uh, could be one of the reasons why macromedia flash well, I guess it's now Adobe Flash, since Macromedia was acquired by Adobe, is so prevalent. Um, if a computer doesn't have Flash, it's not going to have a very good web experience because Flash is kind of the, well, I don't want to say lingua franca of at least uh, online video these days, but certainly I can't imagine going to a website uh, that had Flash on it and not having Flash installed on the local computer to see the Flash content. So, uh, to create a flash presentation, a flash image, a flash banner, a flash button, something in flash, you may have to go purchase Adobe Flash and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this creation tool that may be a little overwhelming, maybe overkill. Or uh, you could go and purchase uh, an alternative flash creator uh, known as Swish. And uh, we had a, a, a person come into the chat room the other day who went by the handle ii haven't seen him or her since, but he or she was asking Jeff, who was uh, on video at the time, should that person choose Adobe Flash or Swish, both of which create Flash files. And I looked at it and I thought, well, neither. You could do it for free. There's a piece of freeware. It's been out for years. Now, it's not much to look at, but it's free and it will help you create Flash files in a flash. It's perfect for people like you and me, well maybe if you're like me, that don't really want to develop a lot of flash but still want to create flash files with ease. Point, click, drag, drop. You know what I'm talking about? You know the pro Anyone know the program? I'll, I'll give you guys a second here. I'll give you a second. What's the name of the program? They're never gonna guess it. It's called Power Bullet Presenter. Power Bullet Presenter. There's a free version and a shareware version, but the free version is, is just fine. I can't even remember what the shareware version is. Uh, I'd registered it at one point, but it, it honestly didn't add so much more that you couldn't get in the free version. And in the free version, uh, the nice thing is, is you can do anything that you would want to do within Flash. Again, I'm talking simple, simple stuff. Uh, you've got all these various objects you can drag around. You can right click, get the item properties, set item effects. Um, define exactly how things look, define how things work, where they're stretched, how they're, how they're done. And then more importantly, you can tap F2 and it will pull up that flash file inside your browser. This is a flash file. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, you can create your own flash. Uh, I'm not expecting you to create like an award-winning anything within PowerBolt Presenter, but that's not the point. If you're going to try to go for an award with Flash, you probably would spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a true, hardcore Flash development tool. This is just for simple stuff. Creating presentations in Flash, or a simple banner in Flash, I mean, maybe, maybe some basic scripting, but nothing, nothing anywhere near uh, what might approach the level of Swish. Uh, which I would still choose before going with Adobe Flash because Swish is a little easier to use, but over the years got more complicated. Power Bullet Presenter stayed free and stayed simple. And I think that's going to appease you enough if you're looking to do anything inside of Flash or create Flash files. It is only available for Windows at this point. Unfortunately, I do not think, or at least I don't know, if there is an equivalent for OS X uh, available. If, if there is, by all means, tell me. I'd love to take a look at it. And, uh, of course, you're also welcome to leave a comment, follow up, etc. What do you think about Flash? Uh, do you not have Flash installed? I think that's a, a bigger question to ask. Or do you know of another free Flash tool that's just as good 
if not better than Power Bullet Presenter, I dare you to find one because I'm telling you, it doesn't exist. I've known about this thing for years. Nothing has trumped it yet, at least on Windows. You can email me, chris at perillo.com, and uh, you know, I'll see your email. may not respond, but uh, you can email me you know, tips, tricks, suggestions, uh, whatever. Email me. Uh, email's free, or at least it should be. And you're also welcome to join our community, even though it's there's nothing really to join. Just stop by the website where we're chatting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week typically talking tech uh, about videos that we recently recorded or software tech news uh, you name it uh, you know we're just uh, having fun and hopefully we're having fun with you and uh, the one website where you can find us 24 hours a day 7 days a week is live.perillo.com we'll see you later